Hello, and welcome to another episode of Patents TV. My name is Jim Lambert, and I'm one of the patents specialists. Today, I want to show you some very low-tech ideas that can be used in life skills classrooms or any classroom, as a matter of fact. As you can see here, I've been to some office supply stores, and I've got a cardboard box, some cardstock paper, and some self-adhesive foam board. Let's look at ways that these three items can be used to create tools to use in your classroom. Let's first look at the piece of cardstock. I'm going to fold the cardstock in half to create a tent. And with two pieces of Velcro attached to the outside of the tent, and one piece attached into the inside of the tent. This now becomes a simple choice board. I set this one up to make choices of what I would like to eat at lunch. Do I want a hamburger or do I want pizza? I'm going to select the pizza. I place it inside the cardboard fold, cardstock folder, and I've made my choice. Then, what I want for lunch is selected, so when it's time to go to lunch, and the grass looks greener in that serving line, I have to learn to live with the choice that I've made. This is very simple and easy to make. And instead of using just Velcro, I would recommend using something called Dual Lock. It's a little stronger than Velcro, and the nice thing about it is you don't have to worry about having the rough or smooth side of the Velcro. Each piece of dual lock hooks in together with itself. Now let's look what can be done with a six by six inch cardboard box. After assembling the box and taping it, I now have a cube. With this cube, I can take either laminating film or sheet protectors, and on each of the sides of the box, I can tape those either laminating film or sheet protectors along three sides. I can now, on each side of the cube, uh, slide anything in here that I would like to be working with with the students. If I want to be working with colors, I could have colors. If I wanted to be working on numbers, I could have numbers here. Or if I wanted to be working on recognizing symbols from Board Maker, I could be doing that. The nice thing about this is when I'm done, we can throw it off the table, or we can be sitting on the floor and groups playing with this. You can even use two cubes and have one cube for nouns and another cube for verbs and have the kids create simple, fun, wacky sentences this way. The last thing I want to look at today is the self-adhesive foam board. All students now are expected to be able to write short sentences, and this is a great way to help them do that. I just took the idea of magnetic words to a different level. What I've done is attached either text, a symbol, or symbol and text to the uh, self-adhesive foam board so that students can arrange these on their desk to create a simple sentence. For example, I see the blue bird. They've just created a sentence. They've shown you something they've known. They became writers. They've become authors. I hope you enjoyed the simple low-tech ideas to use in your classroom, and they will help you and your students have an enjoyable, successful school year.